Welcome to the Refred Writes podcast. Today we will be joined by Madeline Ikonomu, fellow Exeter student, who works in the drama and film departments and specifically has a role of sourcing sustainable clothing for her projects. Firstly, how would you say that your work and interest for sustainable fashion links into our campaign, which aims to raise awareness around the injustices within the fashion industry? So my biggest aim within my work, which is a lot to do with film and theatre, is to make our projects more sustainable. And your campaign has only educated me more in the dangers of fast fashion and the benefits that sustainable fashion really bring. So one thing I think about is with the characters that I play and their unique styles, all I want to do when thinking about their clothing and styles that I need is to provide ethically sourced and sustainable clothing. So we'll go to charity shops, vintage stores, look at secondhand online stores such as Depop and Vinted, um, as well as really researching and finding stores on the high street that are ethical, such as Fat Face. As you know, our campaign's main aim is to educate on the topic of sustainable fashion, specifically taking an interest in the shopping habits of our own students and learning where and who they are influenced by. What do you think are the biggest influences of consumerism to young people? I think our generation very much lives in a digital society. We're all on social media, we're all checking Instagram and TikTok daily. And the problem with TikTok and Instagram is they create micro trends in fashion. So instead of having larger trends that last maybe a year or several years or even a decade, we have trends that come and go in cycles very quickly. And I think this really pushes young people to buy clothes regularly, once a month, every few months. And so young people turn to cheap clothing such as Sheen or TikTok Shop or Amazon, and that is fast fashion. And your campaign is all about the dangers of that, which you go into. But yeah, I think that really is a big influence of consumerism that is affecting young people. Um, A big part of our campaign was to expose injustices within the fashion industry. And we looked specifically at modern slavery, within the industry and we found that there was lots of misconceptions that um, since major cotton and garment producing countries like China and India were typically seen as the countries where these injustices um, took place I think a lot of people didn't realise how modern slavery within the fashion industry is actually an issue in every country even our own country Do you think that our society has become desensitised to these issues or do you think that there's just not enough education around these topics and people do not realise how big of an issue it truly is? I definitely think it's a bit of both. I think the younger generation is definitely becoming more aware and now I feel like it's almost a trend in fashion to shop sustainably, to go to vintage stores and secondhand like clothing stores and have this thrifted look and I think this is a really big step forward in avoiding shopping from clothing brands that like partake in modern slavery however I also think that while this avoids contributing to modern slavery it doesn't put a stop to these brands because there is still a high demand for for these clothing brands. And that leads on to my last question. What do you think a potential solution to this issue could be? Do you believe there should be more awareness around this topic or even petitions to make these companies more ethical? I think both are very important actions to take in solving this issue. I think awareness in modern slavery will push people to want to shop more ethically and sustainably and that will create a higher demand for ethical fashion and sustainable fashion equally petitions are a very practical and action-based way of putting an end to modern slavery in certain companies and brands thank you so much for joining me on today's podcast episode thank you so much for having me